that, but he actually is responsible for all this. <laughs> <laughs> She's as wicked as I am. She's one of the founders of NWBC. So I'm very excited to be calling her tomorrow to tell her all about this. I live right here in the 46th District. I am represented in Congress by the Honorable Dana Rohrlacher. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I'm sure he never thinks of me, certainly not as often as I think of him. <laughs> and I'm very sorry that Debbie Cook doesn't represent me in My friends ask me why I stay here in the 46th. They tell me I fit in better at Cambridge, Georgetown, <laughs> certainly Berkeley. And I tell them, oh no, I'm here on missionary work. <laughs> In 2006, when I heard that the Newport Beach Library was going to be hosting Dr. Robert Thurman, who is the Tibetan Buddhist Chair of Columbia University, the founder of the Tibet House, and one of my personal heroes. His topic was the spirituality of true capitalism. And he had written a book explaining that those to whom much is given, much is asked, that generosity and prosperity means that you're supposed to be giving it away as fast as you accumulated it. Let me remind you how much fun it was for me to imagine him at the Newport Beach Public Library. <laughs> he talked about Bill and Melinda Gates. He talked about the interesting relationship his holiness has with people of great wealth. And the Buddha's interesting, intricate relationship with the merchant class in his lifetime. Dr. Thurman explained that the wealthy are called to a life of generosity. A rich birth and incarnation is an invitation to care for the poor. And giving it away, in fact, assures a life being born into prosperity next time. Finally, he accepted questions. The first question was about a man asking about his being a monk. In fact, he was the first American to have ever been ordained a Tibetan Buddhist monk. And the head of the ashram told him shortly thereafter his installation as a monk that he was really meant to be a householder and he needed to go back to the States and have a wife and a family. The second question he had is, about his children, and of course you know Uma Thurman from Kill Bill or <coughs> several other places. And he talked about how his children had kept him centered in the home. And then a man in the front row put up his hand. Dr. Thurman walked right over to him. And the man asked, what do you think is the state of enlightenment in the United States Dr. Thurman looked right at me, and I wrote it down and wrote it for him. It is not very good, he said. You can see it in the fact that the ERA failed. The advancement of the country and of the world depends on the women. He mentioned how interesting it is that the highest divorce rate in the United States is among Christian fundamentalists where women are reaching up to break out of the patriarchy. He went on to say, men will not lead the world forward. It will be women. And the question is, will women stand up and take it on? And like I told you, I'm here, I'm missionary. <laughs> Finally, I want to thank NWPC and my beloved NLW for embracing the big arms, the Equal Rights Network this year, introduced in the House, HJ Resolution 61. It's the start over. It's not the three state. The three state will be next. And I'm ready to support the one that works. So thank you for supporting constitutional equality for every human being that lives in the United States. Thank you.